Hi, I'm Steve with Touch the Master's Hand, Holy Spirit Ministries. Um, kind of wanted to talk to you today about something not, that's not going to be such a warm, fuzzy feeling, but the Lord spoke to me and told me that he was going to bring down the almighty dollar and bring America to its knees, but he wasn't going to destroy this country because he's not done with it yet. Jesus has a plan. I mean, <clears throat> I don't have a lot of scripture to go with this. Um, most of my messages do, but this one doesn't because it's kind of in the context of, well, really, it's all about Jesus and his hand because his hand of grace and mercy is down upon this country right now in spite of ourselves, sinful, ungodly laws, all the swirl, all the news media, all the lies and crap and stuff that's going on, <clears throat> this just political upheaval and realm, viciousness, divisive. It's, the news media is full of just the dirtier and the more polluted and evil, the better. Really, honestly, I mean, I'm not just down in the media. I'm saying, you know, it's also on the internet and the internet's full of it too. So Jesus has a plan. I mean, I don't like to, you know, I'm not the judgment guy. I'm not preaching judgment on this country. I'm saying we're in trouble. I mean, just look at it. You know, we say we're the richest nation in the world or one of them or whatever. And you, I get it, it's kind of complex and all the economic junk, but my second grade math tells me this country's in trouble. I mean, look at the deficit, $20 billion, trillion dollars in debt or how much ever it is, a lot. They just, what does Congress come up with? A plan to just borrow more money. They barely talk about balancing the budget. They never talk about paying it back. They never talk about taxing corporations more so that we can bring in more because basically that's what's going wrong. We're not bringing in enough money to pay our bills. And why did the government have to shut down? So, I mean, there's a lot going on, guys. And if it wasn't for the hand of Jesus, God's plan, we'd probably already be a third world country at best, honestly. I mean, I'm not, you know, look at my message on economic collapse. It's already here, guys, but what Jesus is saying is, come on, come out. In spite of everything that's going on all around you, because you could preach judgment, doom, and gloom, and everybody would be like, th thousands of views on it or whatever, because everybody wants to see about that that garbage, but I don't. I want to see what, what God's doing, what Jesus is doing, what's really going on. Time to get in the spiritual realm, guys, and get out of this fleshly, earthly, carnal realm. And the reason why, you know, we put too much emphasis on, I don't want to see the stock market collapse or any of that other stuff, you know, I've got retirement accounts too. We. Some of our income comes from a dividend account, you know? So, I mean, not good news, but Jesus is good news. So I'm gonna put my trust and faith in him, just like Proverbs three, four and five. And, and you know, trust in the Lord with all your heart, you know, not in your own understanding. It's time for America to get back to the basics. A little neology, prayer, seeking him. So anyhow, that's kind of my message because uh, it is all about Jesus and we need to refocus. I mean, we think we're this great, godly, rich nation because we put in God we trust on the dollar bill. Do we really? Go tell Donald Trump Congress, Nancy Pelosi, anybody, pick one. Pick one of your congressmen that you want to put in Jesus we trust on the dollar bill. Take off that weird pyramid and all the other stuff that's symbolic of what? Probably not God. Just 
a lot of junk. So, you know, when we talk about God, everybody's like, yay, jump on the bandwagon or kind of put a stamp on it. It's like, we're, we're kind of trying to hoodwink God, honestly. He's not going to be mocked. Jesus is the answer. God was God's plan. We need to put Jesus back in the equation and take all this other stuff out. So anyhow, you know, he wants us to put our trust in him and not in the monetary system. I get it. I understand, you know, my, we just came back from a trip. The Lord sent us on a mission trip all the way to Pennsylvania. I'd have a good car to get there. I'd have gas. I'd pay for a hotel. I understand it. It takes resources. I get that piece of it. So does God. But I can't put my trust in that, my faith in that, and my hope in that. It's got to be in Jesus. So that's what I'm trying to say, guys. That's kind of where the gist of this message is going. It's not about the judgment that's coming against America because of sin. It's about God's purpose and plan and Him straightening out our heart to trust in him. Get out of this understanding and into this because this doesn't get us in trouble. I'm um, which side my heart's on, I guess it's this side. So anyhow. <laughs> Quit putting our faith in money and put our faith and trust in Jesus. Because that's what it's gonna take in this last in this day that we're living in. So, you know, I could, you know, look at some of my other messages. Some of them are pretty awesome. Not some of them, all of them. But, you know, comment. Uh, you want to email me directly, steveyoungstrom at yahoo.com. Uh, or just put comment on Facebook. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, sorry for the seemingly judgmental message, but it's not intended to be. It's intended to be directional and just get our mind off of the crud swirl, whatever you want to call it, just noise and distraction and focused on Jesus. And that's why the dollar's coming down. The almighty dollar's coming down. God's going to let it unravel. Jesus is going to let it unravel. But it's for a purpose and for his glory so that no man gets the glory. So that's it. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, and we'll talk to you soon.